<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to RetroGoat. I'm your host, Wizard, and today we are taking a look at Trophy Hunter 2003. I've got, I gotta keep my voice down a little bit. I'm, I'm hunting moose right now, like a true Northman. Where did it go? God. Uh, uh, hmm. Well, welcome to Alaska as well. Um, we're currently hunting in Alaska somewhere and uh, oh god it's getting tired there eh? this is me hello ugly as shit but a competent hunter nonetheless well, let's see if we can find that moose I saw earlier hello moose hello this is how, how moose say hello to each other. Come on, where are you? Well, while, while we're waiting for that moose to appear, this game was developed by South Logic Studios and published by Infograms. Originally, I, I wanted to take a look at an older hunting game called Carnivores 2 where you hunt dinosaurs but uh, that game uh, just didn't want to work properly in uh, Windows 7 so I just settled for this game which is not a bad game I might add okay let's see and I know hunting games are a very niche market, but uh, this hunting game specifically is uh, a lot more, has a lot more to it than uh, you first think. Come on, Moose, where did you go? I'm just using my scent stomper to make sure that... No animals can sense my smell. My sweaty, sweaty, manly smell. Mm. After having failed miserably at hunting down that moose, uh, I decided to head back to my trusty steed, Mildred. That's what they call the horse in this game. To set off on new adventures. Anyway, as I was saying, it's a pretty niche market. And I usually don't like hunting games a lot. Mostly because most of them are. Ooh! Most of them are glorified shooters on rails. What do we have down there? Do you see that? There we go. A moose. King of the forest. However, this one is. Uh, free roam in. Uh, one map at a time. Currently we're playing in Alaska, which is uh, one of the easiest beginner levels. And you get to choose your gun. Actually, you buy your guns and you got buy your equipment from the money you make for hunting. Let's see now. Oh, oh. Goodbye. No. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh. Come on, come on. No. No. Oh. It's heading off in the nor northwestern direction. Mildred! To the chase! Follow that moose! Northwest! Hopefully I hit it. They don't always go down in one hit. If you don't hit them in the head, that is, or in a very good spot like the heart or something. And I don't actually know the exact location of a moose heart from like 150 meters away. As I was saying, you buy your equipment for the money you make from hunting. And uh, on each map you can hunt a number of different animals. Right now I have a bag limit, you can see there. 
of two caribou, two wolves, uh, one moose, and one brown bear. So let's see if we can find it. This moose, or if I fail miserably again. Oh god, why? I am the worst hunter ever. So you want to get trophies, of course. Oh, there it is! The better game you get, the more points you get on your trophies, the more money you get. However, you want to uh, keep inside your bag limit because if you if you shoot more animals than you are allowed to, you won't get any points at all for the animals you actually shot legally during uh, that game. And as you can see, I'm currently playing uh, single player, seeing as Mildred here doesn't really count as a, as a player. <laughs> But you can you can play this in multiplayer as well, which is rather rather entertaining. And then there are several different modes, like you can go for uh, first kill, or and that, that means first animal kill. You can't actually shoot each other. I've tried. Trust me. I, I, I didn't find the moose. However, there is something in the distance. A caribou. Sadly, I don't have uh, a call for the car caribou, so I will just have to sneak up on it and wish me luck, guys. Oh, oh, oh! So, wait. Oh, God. I used the call earlier, and I seem to have attracted the moose. This is a better kill than the caribou, so I will be going for the shot. Come on! No! Oh. Oh, God! Yes! Haha! <laughs> Victory is mine! <laughs> you cannot outsmart me, silly moose. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> this is for all the vegans out there in the crowd. woo -hee! And sometimes you can actually see also where you manage to hit it however I think I hit it on the side that it's lying down on so I can't see the the entry wound there so we're just gonna bag this one and there you can see uh, that's a, actually a really good kill 923 credits bonus for a clean kill and so on and that's actually really rewarding and now, as you can see, I have shot my moose, which could either be a male or a female. Sometimes it's restricted to either one of them. Ah, I do, however, think we scared away that caribou, so we're just gonna leave that be. And let's uh, let's drop out into the menu here so we can see. Okay, so we had a little bit of a crash there, but uh, this is uh, the character screen. As you can see, you can choose the way you look. You can pick from a different array of avatars here. Um, so I put my points into stealth, and I, as you can see, I put a lot of points into hardiness. There are also tracking and presence. These are good for different things, and uh, dependent on the style you want to hunt, uh, as I do a lot of running after the animals after I miss them and scare them off. I put a lot into hardiness and stealth to be able to get close up and manage to get those uh, really nice kills with strange weapons like uh, for an example, let's head into the store here. I have uh, bought the old smokely back black powder rifle for the hunter who wants the ultimate rifle hunting challenge, yes. Right. Let's see again. Uh, okay, it's not being displayed here. Well, anyway, as you can see, there are quite a number of different weapons here. There are firearms, different descriptions, and of course, uh, different navigational equipment. I have bought the GPS, which is the only thing you really need if you have the cash for it. 
different optics. You can use different scopes, different things. I only use uh, the spotting scope because if I don't use a scope on my weapon, I will get more money for each kill, which is nice. I like a challenge. Vehicles, I have bought, of course, Mildred, the horse. Wonderful, wonderful horse, but you can also have an ATV. Or if you want to go real redneck style, the pickup truck. Yeah, Billy Bob, yo. There are a number of attractants. You can put up caribou food, or there are a number of different food for different animals. Different smells to uh, try and attract those hard-to-get animals. I'm just using the sound stomper currently to uh, get those stealth kills. There are bows. I rarely use crossbows, however. If I go for something, I will go for this, of course. The handcrafted longbow from England. God save the queen. Made using only the finest woods and curing techniques in the world. It's a really tough weapon to use. Or spree smart. Oh god. I I I, no, I don't know. I don't know. There are also very many different calls. And concealments as well. So if you want to sit around and uh, read a newspaper while you wait for the animals to turn up, and go ahead. Be my guest. I'm not gonna buy anything now, so uh, let's uh, look into the trophy room. This is where all my trophies are gathered. I have currently killed 12 different animals, and uh, there's information saved about these kills. So you can uh, brag to your friends or whatever people like to do with trophies, or you could challenge yourself to get a Better kill next time. Also some statistics if you're interested in that. But let's uh, let's head into uh, another match here. It's uh, Southern Alberta. Let's just head in there and get some stuff done. Let's uh, let's run with uh, Old Smokely. Guess I'm just hardcore like that. Yeah. Get back here, you bastard. Get back! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <coughs> come on. Die. Fall for Her Majesty's Musketeer. Or whatever this weapon is. to put a slug in your rib cage, sir beer. Well, uh, bear. Not beer. I've always found that hard to... Hard to remember which one to use. I always say beer when I'm supposed to say bear. However, beer isn't bad. No, well, no. Not bad at all. It's... Did it go? Is it out in the water? I can't. Well, I shouldn't shoot it in the water. I don't think you can collect it down. Nope, nope, still down there. Can't shoot at this distance. Well, well, I guess we're just gonna have to go for it. Hope that bugs out and stops by that mountain there, or cliff, or whatever you want to call it. Also, did I, did I mention that you can actually get killed in this game by dangerous animals? Like, uh, if you're trying to hunt bear with uh, 
black powder rifle with one single shot slug? Yeah, you can. Oh, oh, this could be so epic. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. There we go. You're not going anywhere. Get back here. I must have hit that one. Come on, come on. This is what happens when this game <coughs> degenerates into... <coughs> Just shooting something that's running... Oh. No! No, 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 get, get back up there. There we go. There, Mr. Bear. There we go. However... Oh, did it. It's not in the water, is it? Oh, crap. <laughs> Yee! Now that is epic. As you, as you saw earlier, there's, there's a number of different maps, and I actually believe that there are a couple of maps out on the internet as well. You can head out there and look them up. I'm actually thinking of. Uh, oh, rocks. Thinking of organizing a little multi goat gameplay. This. Getting the gang together and heading out hunting. Because it's pretty sweet. It's uh, relaxing, yet intense. Addicting. It's just a good game. Even though the avatars are really fugly. So if you're interested in this uh, this game, it's a little tough to come by, as far as I know. At least if you want to, if you want to buy it, uh, I found a, co a couple of copies on uh, Amazon, but they were like 30 or 40 dollars or something like that so it's a it's a rare jewel nowadays uh, however i also saw a couple of links to some sort of shareware copy so i don't know if they've uh, released a full ver version of this as uh, shareware i didn't download it and check it out but uh, you could go ahead and do that it looked like it was the full version and if that's the case, uh, well, that's awesome. More people to enjoy this game. Something a little different. Something to pass a few hours of your life with. Ah, <sighs> reached the limit of the hunting area. What? Oh, right. I thought the green little spot out there on the GPS was me, but... Oh, well. Let's head north. So, benefits of this game, uh, well, it's a couple of different maps, they're all different, some aspects, some are more difficult, some are easier, and some you can hunt more, you can, and some you can hunt less. Several different styles of hunting, M like mobile hunting, you run around trying to find animals, or, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can shoot that as well. Won't give you anything though. As well as uh, just sitting on your ass somewhere, drinking coffee, using an electronic call device, just waiting for animals to pass by. You could do that while doing homework, I guess. Or reading the newspaper. Or whatever it is you do. I don't know. As well as challenging your friends in some good multiplayer action. However, sometimes you are just unlucky and you won't find anything for 20 minutes and when you do find something you suck so much because you have depleted all your patience that you will just miss the shot and will have to 
run after that animal for 20 minutes more, but then when you get that kill, at least I find it really rewarding. Anyway, this has been uh, Goat Wizard showcasing uh, Trophy Hunter. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And uh, if you want to see more of this, just drop a comment, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you around.